As, as we end this year, I want to speak about the future of the scheme and, and hope that the Minister will outline in further detail the plans for next year. Will it be the same amount of funding as was available last year, for, for, uh, for this last year? And if schools don't use all their allocated funding um, by the end of the year, will they be able to roll over and be, be, be able to use uh, in future? And of course, the success of the scheme re rests on as many schools as possible signing up. Uh, and the, when the school, school scheme was launched, the um, minister at the time, the Honourable Member for Chippenham, uh, who's now the university's minister, said the government would consider making the scheme mandatory if taking, take up wasn't high enough. So I'd like to know what level of take up the minister thinks is acceptable and if the department has any plans to make this an opt out rather than an opt in scheme. And finally, based on our red box experience in Hounslow, Will the government consider extending the same scheme to include other products, um, such, as, uh, um, such as pants and tights, um, which are particularly valuable? It's one thing to have a clean pad or tampon, but to have to put the same pants and tights back on, you know? Um, but that's certainly what the volunteers in our red box scheme felt uh, uh, put in, because, because of the feedback coming back from students and from schools. So I hope that when the minister gives her response, um, she will set out just what the plans for the scheme are, what changes there'll be.